everyone, I hope you're all really well. Um, today's video is going to be something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to just come and have a really honest chat about um, how I've been feeling lately, mental health in pregnancy almost, um, and just a few little things like that really, without going into kind of too much um, detail about things that are really private and stuff. But I'll start off by saying that I am fully aware that I'm very fortunate to be pregnant and that there are people who have longed to be pregnant for years and years and for various reasons it's not happened for them and that you should always be kind of aware to count your blessings and I do. But at the same time, um, I wouldn't have necessarily dined it on purpose so that I was opening a business and getting pregnant at the same time, had kind of, I had choice in that kind of matter. Excuse my really, really dodgy face and I was testing out a new one and it's done that horrible thing with my knuckles. Ooh. Um, yeah, so <laughs> there's that. Um, and juggling the two has been very difficult and I also want to point out that while I have had things kind of in this pregnancy that have been a bit annoying, I've had such an easy time of it. There are women who, you know, have all sorts of difficulties and really struggle with all sorts of things and that's not been me. Um, I've generally been okay. I had a lot of sickness to begin with but then that kind of went away and now it's just kind of, you know, just usual things like just a bit of general discomfort, um, having heartburn, that kind of thing really. Um, nothing massively too, too bad if that makes sense. Um, and I, I'm aware of that, but everything's kind of within your own perspective really, isn't it? And, um, and you're not sleeping at night because you've got heartburn and the only way you cannot get heartburn is if you lay up and you can't go to sleep like that it gets a bit annoying um and just kind of little annoying <laughs> niggly things where you know when you, you're just going through a phase where like you hate your hair for example that's me at the moment i don't know what it is i'm just going through a phase where i just hate my hair um i i don't like kind of how it's styled i don't like the colour of it, I just, I'd, I'm just not into it for some reason. Um, and, and my skin's kind of gone a bit weird in the sense of, I haven't got any extra pigmentation, but I feel like kind of I need to wear products that are a little bit heavier coverage than I am doing. And I've never got enough time to kind of properly, properly do my makeup. I'm always just kind of slapping it on and doing it in a rush. I fully am aware that that's kind of what it's going to be like once <laughs> the baby will be here anyway so it's probably good practice to be fair um but you know when you just never feel sort of like really glam and really put together and you just always feel like you're just kind of ugh. so like this morning I had to be really quick because I had to go somewhere and do my hair and makeup really quickly hence I've got just mascara on haven't got any eyeshadow on haven't got any eyeliner on I've just got a bit of um, tinted lip balm on and just you know when you just feel a little bit not yourself and if you're somebody that these things kind of matter to it does it does kind of um make a difference to how you feel a little bit but the biggest thing for me has been trying to juggle working um with all the things that you have to do when you're eight months pregnant and you're you know trying to get organized for when your baby comes and it's also had a very interesting effect on our relationship um, because we're both under a lot of stress with the business. We're both very um, dedicated to the business. We both work really, really long hours. And as a result of that, it's kind of ended up where we don't get much time to spend with each other that's not to do with work. And it's a very, very tough balance to strike. Um, 
because you know for like the past month or so pretty much we've both been working like pretty much from the morning till the night um and literally from like 10 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night and it's a really really long day and it's really hard on you physically and while he tries to be as understanding as he possibly can and I don't want to sound like he's not being understanding because he is being understanding to the best of his ability I think it can be difficult for men because they don't understand properly because it's not happening to them and that part of it I found really really tricky I found quite lonely I found it quite isolating um, I always imagined it would be a certain way I think um, and that's probably where the problem is is when you've got a certain bit of expectation I had always imagined it would be like this you know really cute kind of fun happy time and there's moments where it's like that but it's generally not been like that it's not been within our relationship the experience that I'd imagined it was going to be because we're just so busy and kind of run ragged and stressed trying to kind of you know get a new business off the ground so that you can then be able to be around and it's things like you know trying to work out whether or not you actually get to have proper maternity leave um, because it's slightly different when you're self-employed um, and what to do and how much time he'll get to spend with her because you know he's, he'll still have to go to work a little bit and you know you won't get like two weeks paternity leave and that kind of thing and these are all things that like you know if it happened later on in the game we'd be a little bit more prepared for but I think had I not gotten pregnant now I would have easily put it off for like another two three years um and it's good in a sense because it makes you have to take a step back but then I'm really really guilt ridden of when I need to take a step back because I don't know if I am gonna feel like I want to go back to work and how I'm gonna be able to kind of juggle that and I'm somebody that's kind of very busy all the time and I don't know how that's gonna kind of make me feel um, and physically as well, yeah. physically there's things that are kind of um, slightly sort of worrying me a little bit where I feel like actually my kind of body image has been a lot better than I was possibly expecting for it to be while I've been pregnant but as I'm nearing the end I'm starting to be a bit concerned about postpartum, <laughs> how I'm going to feel um, and just little things that are important to me that make me feel like me that kind of have not been something that I've been able to kind of stay on top of and just things like that um, and I suppose you, you figure it out along the way and you learn and your priorities are different and it just is how it is but um, it's things like, you know, I've never felt self-conscious before about my boobs. I've always been like, my boobs are kind of one of my better features. And now, since I've been pregnant, they're so saggy that when I don't wear a bra, they just look horrendous. They really do. And it, it's all sort of fine saying, you know, yeah, but you're growing a human and, you know, they'll go back and whatever. But it's like, yeah, well, at this moment in time, I just always feel like I, they have to be in a bra at all times because they just don't feel right. Um, <laughs> it's just a weird feeling and I'm very aware of the fact as well that like you don't want to sound like you're somebody that just constantly constantly complains about things but then at the same time you don't want to be somebody who glosses over things and I'm very aware like on Instagram and things like that where it might sound like I'm just constantly complaining and that's not my intention it's, I don't know, it's it's a tricky time. I'm going through a really tricky time and I feel anxious quite a lot and not, 
I'm not going to say unhappy because it's not unhappy, but it's just there's a lot going on to to kind of do at once, and I'm sure that it's happened for a reason, and that like you know you only get given the cards that you can deal with in that sense. But I just feel a bit kind of down at the moment and it's stupid things like I'd signed us up to have antenatal classes which were on a Sunday and I was like perfect that's our day off um, and <laughs> then I had a phone call this morning saying that they've been moved they're no longer on a Sunday they're on a Wednesday night and we can't go on a Wednesday night because we have work and or at least one of us does and then it's like do I have to just then go on my own and I don't want to go on my own because like I've said this whole experience has felt like such an isolating experience anyway in a lot of respects I wanted us to go together and I don't know just just like annoying little things like that really um, but I suppose your hormones are so all over the place that it it's very hard to know how to feel and to know if you if you're doing the right thing and to um kind of if it, it's hard to know if you're really feeling how you're feeling or if it is just kind of hormone related because i think as well there's a lot of that involved um and is it a case of your expectations are just not correct <laughs> or something? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you in this video. I, I'll be interested to hear what you think. Um, and if you think that kind of it's... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit all over the place. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd better kind of, i better just be honest because it's always important. Um, but yeah, I will see you all very, very soon.